What's good world? It's your boy Pond. That stuff is janky. Um, this video ain't on gold or silver, but on gold certificates and silver certificate, uh, vice versa, the paper form. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, first, we got a um, $1 page, you know, 1928. The funny bag, 1934 funny bag, and then um, a 1935. We thought the No In God We Trust. Um, I like the back to the funny bags. They're actually pretty nice compared to that one right there. But yeah. And I have a 1923 large $1 bill, immaculate condition. Condition is everything nowadays in collecting. Yeah, yeah. And moving on to the two dollars, 1928, and yeah, I believe that one's a 1953, and this one's a 1963 star note. Um, I got most of these notes from trading just silver coins from 90% silver coins from because I don't like to buy paper money, but if I have to, then I will, but rarely I won't unless it's really dirt cheap. Um, another two dollar page, 1976, and then this one's a 1953A. There's the reverse of Monticello on the red seal one. Moving on to the five dollar page, um, 1934, 1953, and 1963 red seal. That one's a, um, a United States note compared to a silver certificate. Um, I believe these right here where if you had this you could redeem those for this and this you can redeem for silver that's what I heard I'm not too sure on that but yeah and all of these does not have in God we trust except for the 1963 one which is visible right there moving on to the next five and then we move on to the Federal Reserve note with the green seal and then the ones that we currently use the big face and the weird looking ones I hate the weird looking ones they look like monopoly money Here's the back of them as they gradually change. And moving on to the $10, we got the Federal Reserve note, we got the big face, and the ones we use, Star Note, found that one in the bank. Here's the back of them. Uh, not too special on this $10 page, just some old tens. I have um, a couple of these, but they're sitting somewhere in the box. And moving on to the twenty dollars uh, Federal Reserve notes, and then the little big face. These are coming harder and harder to find. I have not seen some in a while. Uh, mostly these right here. This one's a star note too. That's why I kept it in the book. But this one, I try to find a better condition one, but can't find it. Uh, this one will do for now. Here's the back of them. And then uh, got a 1923 gold note. Oh, I mean not 1923, 1922 gold note, um, one of my favorite notes, large type uh, picture of George Washington on there, redeemable in 20 gold coins, here's the back of them, my favorite bill from my whole collection, um, moving on to the $50 uh, Federal Reserve notes, we've got the big ones and then the ones that we currently use right now, nothing too special, but I really like that Federal Reserve, the older ones better, they look just original compared to the newer ones. The newer ones just look like paper toy money or some shit. And then um, we have an 1899 silver certificate. A weird one with the eagle in front but I like the style. Looks pretty nice. The back of it. And then uh, moving on to the $100 page. Uh, my favorite ones from the whole Federal Reserve notes from the early 30s. Well, not the early. I don't have none from 1934, but these came out, I believe, in 1934, and the red ones came out in 19-something. I don't know, but yeah. Found most of these in change, but I rarely find these anymore. Most people think they're fake, and they just turn them into the bank, and the bank just shred them. But I'm happy to own three, plus one of the newer ones. Um, Star note for this one. Found this one in the bank. Back of that. And then my spare page, I just have another funny bag, um, one dollar food stamp. You rarely ever see these put out again. Um, and then a 1957 silver certificate. Yeah, you guys. 
I'm out. I hope you guys enjoy my um, currency collection and my book. I'm out. Take care, you guys.